if you take a flashlight beam and shine it on something, you're going to have a shadow behind it. That's the same thing with this, because this, unlike 2D sonar, 2D sonar comes down in a cone. This, as it travels through the water, is almost like a curtain. It's like in the Star Trek and all that, you see, oh, well, we're being scanned. Well, you see a, a green light come through? That's kind of the same thing. Gotcha. That's what it does. You can see that, we'll zoom in, that's a stump. You can see the shadow behind it. Two things. Number one, you can tell that that's a, a stump by the shape of the shadow. You can also see how tall it is by how long the shadow is. So you can get a you can get an idea that that's probably about four or five feet. This is thirty feet. That's forty feet. It's probably about eight feet long, tall, coming off the bottom. That's a pretty big stump. So there are a lot of other things on here. The light and dark. The lighter it is, the harder the bottom. What this is, that's a hump. Those are two little channels that are coming off of it. That is like a little creek channel that's going right down through there. That's a depression. So as light hits it, if light if the it falls off, it gets darker. As it comes up, it gets brighter. So you get that dark spot in between. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. There's a culvert that comes under the road and you're going to be able to see where that culvert comes out and you're going to see where it washed out a hole. Put that marker there. You see it puts a, puts a mark there, puts a mark here. It tells me exactly where that is on all of my screens. There's a little cross there, that cross is there and there. So it marks it on all the different views. You can do you can go into settings sonar and you can overlay downscan so now any stumps that show up will show up as a hard feature on the bottom and this is your soft stuff so again it's just like an x-ray and an mri you see the hard stuff and you see the soft stuff over top so you get the best of both worlds with that and again you just go into menu settings hit sonar and turn it off, you're right back to normal sonar. There's a culvert that comes in between these two and it comes up right under here. So you can see it's we're getting deeper. It's washed out a hole and there's a bunch of rock. We're coming up. That's the culvert right there. You can plainly see that's the culvert that comes out from under that road. That's the deep hole right there. So if I put my marker right there, you can see that's it right here. So I've got the, and that's where the water comes out. Now they'll show up as white lines, but a lot of times you can't tell the difference. There's so much stuff around it, so much hard bottom, that you can't tell the difference. So what you do is you jack your contour, you jack your contrast way up. So now remember I said things cast a shadow. So what you do, you jack the contrast way up. So now instead of looking for the white line of the fish, you look for the shadow that they're casting, the absence of what of color. So you're looking for a clear spot just like we did on that stump. So now you can locate fish like that, especially when they're close to the bottom. Because if a fish is close to the bottom, you may not see it other than its shadow. So you can go in and you can go into contrast and you can jack the contrast way up. Now, if it's real white, anything that shows up is really going to show a shadow. So you could actually pick, pick out a school of fish over here by their shadows where if they were laying on the bottom, you wouldn't be able to see them. What you would do is you hit add. Now you say, well, what do I want on there? Well, I want a chart. I want sonar. I want structure scan. Well, how do I want the laid out? I want my structure scan always to be the wide one on the bottom. That's it. Save. So now there it is. So now if I want my temperature to show up, I go into 
go into edit overlay add come in with GPS if I want my speed uh, speed over ground go up here sonar I want my depth I want my water temperature so now I have them and I can take my water temperature put it over here my depth I can also add the time down here easily again go in add here time there's my time drag it down here so I go to configure this one I'll invert make it medium take the caption off of all of these and go back hit save I'm done I've created a screen and customized it within two minutes it's just that easy with this this bar there's a setting in here after 15 seconds that bar will go back by itself you can leave it out if you want to but as you can see it goes back by itself you have full screen capability you can come in here hit this hit adjust splits and it's just as easy as moving it there hit save my screens are are moved whereas with the old button units it would take you forever to do what i just did in less than two minutes